Yeah, I'm gonna time to smash it up. Super Smash Brothers. The 16-year-old Nintendo fighting game series played by gamers everywhere. To achieve victory, each player must claim all four enemy stocks by knocking their opponent off the stage. <laughs> but for such a simple concept, why has this game remained so popular after all these years? Who will give this game meaning and find its passion? Do something cool. Alright, do it for the hype. That's why you name Hype Man. It was probably the last day of spring break back when I was a junior. I invited a couple of friends to play Smash. We just played Melee in my family room. Um, my sisters joined in. It was a lot of fun. Uh, when I started inviting friends over to play, it was because I wanted to test out who was the best in the area. I had watched uh, a tournament online, EVO 2013. That was the first time I really found out that there was a Smash scene. After that, I wanted to make like a community that played Smash. It was named VJ Smash because we all go to the same school, Victor J. Andrew High School. And so it was the ultimate way for everyone to just have fun and to test your strength in Smash. And that was it. After the idea was formed, the newly created Smash scene was now ready to begin. But how did this one game spark enough interest to start this new community? Uh, the game is either an extremely fun, casual experience where you just mess around with your friends or it is the most high-octane, crazy, balls-to-the-walls extreme esports there is in the entire world. It caters to every audience. On one hand, it's of the, like almost one of the best party games around. And on the other hand, you have the complete competitive spectrum. It covers like the extreme hardcore aspects of Street Fighter, and then like the party aspects of like Mario Party or whatever. It's just, it could be whatever game you want it to be. And that's just something that's truly phenomenal. Like, it's not just another fighting game. It's so, uh, just a sandbox, you can just go and you can just do whatever. It's not set, you know, there's so many different combos, so many new things, new things in the meta that he found, you know. So yeah, that's why I think it sets it out. When two players face off against each other, they are both on just one singular platform. Unlike most fighting games where you're just, you know, side-scrolling, got your health bars, we've got percents. And as percents go up, you get knocked back further whenever you get hit. And that just creates so many more opportunities for so many more interesting game design choices. And like combos are based on percents and it's just like one of these like deceptively very intricate uh, aspects of the game. The reason why I think this game is so popular is because there are so many different characters and no matter who you are, you can find a character that's right for you. Another reason why I think a lot of people like Smash is because it's competitive. Most of the time, you're going to want to beat your opponent. Just playing Smash just means that you have more opportunities to do that, even though it's not even in real life. After deciding to focus on Smash Brothers, VJ Smash was ready to host its own local tournaments that summer. The first event was the Round Robin placement in Project M. Anyone who wanted to come could come. That was the cool thing about VJ Smash. You didn't need an invite. It was just it was open invite. It was a small tournament and it was just a party and it was a lot of fun and it just kept growing from there and you know it expanded. Everybody there was like, oh this is cool, like obviously I gotta go again. And then they'd tell other people, and they'd be like, oh, you should come to this. So every time, there was just more and more people. It was so much fun, and like everyone was there. It was like a meeting of friends. It's just awesome, because like everybody comes together. Because of growing interest and demand, VJ Smash continued hosting tournaments, each one larger than the last. <laughs> Oh!
mean, I'd been playing Smash Bros with a small circle of friends for a while, but I couldn't imagine this just giant tournament community. It was just so awesome to experience. Everything in Smash comes together for this amazing experience that you just can't get anywhere else. The events themselves are just a nice way to come together with people and then just see who's better at Smash. Each tournament just kept getting bigger and bigger and it had a theme and we'd stream it. The stream is a computer that's set up connected to the TV that's playing. So we can also have a mic on the computer and so there can be commentators explaining what's going on in the game. Uh, anyone could commentate. It was an open commentary. Uh, you can just pick up the microphone and start talking. I remember like just various people coming up and you know making a fool out of themselves. I'm bringing sexy back. Damn! <laughs> Sometimes, but overall it was an awesome experience. I, I love streaming and commentating. I, I've only commentated a couple times, but it's just it's fun because like we should get to talk about the match, like especially like people who don't know what's going on. You could explain like uh, just like what's going on, like what 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 each character is trying to do in each matchup. You know, the gameplay itself is spectacular, but having that commentary alongside it gives it a personality, and it really adds to something. Adam is definitely keeping him moving. He is not letting Mario light up. Uh, oh, that is a guard. That is the edge guard. Edge edge guard. Oh my goodness. That got completely. That is how you take someone out. Even though it was live, the more important part about the stream was that the matches were recorded. And so you can go back and like watch your own matches, which I think is really pretty interesting because you can really see how much everyone's improved. Oh my goodness, since VJ Smash started, or since I got here, I everyone's been improving. It seems like everyone's improving but me, but everyone is improving. The farther I get every tournament, like, it kind of shows the progress, and then every time I've actually, like, I feel like I've gotten better, so like, I like that. The success of VJ Smash that summer signified that it was ready for even greater things. However, the society was about to change, for better or for worse. Summer ended, and everyone had a lot less free time. We couldn't host events like we used to. You know, we realized that this could only be a summer thing unless we try to actually make it a school thing. There were a lot of mixed decisions on if merging with the school was a good idea. I was a little bit skeptical. I was I was skeptical. Because I didn't think it was going to happen. I mean, obviously, people are always like, a gaming club, that's not going to fly. A bunch of old people being you know, like, oh, we don't want our video games in our schools, it's going to hurt our kids. It wasn't as easy a decision as most people thought. I think it's definitely a good thing that we ended up doing it, though, because it really did give like so many more people who wouldn't have known about it like an opportunity to join. I think it really helped it get way bigger. The benefits definitely are uh, just showing people like a new side of things that they've never seen before. It was just a great idea, you know, just why not let the... Everyone loves video games. Why not start a video game club in school? It was actually a pretty good idea. So basically we talked about like, we need a teacher sponsor and we need a place to do all this. And we, we need equipment. It was like a process of what are the things we absolutely have to have. You guys wanted to start the club in school, make it an actual school club. I knew Mr. Weiss and he was a gamer. I was. So I asked him if he wanted to sponsor it. Right, it. We got Mr. Weiss. He was the woodworking teacher. He also was the computer maintenance teacher. And because he was the computer maintenance teacher, he had access to the computer maintenance room. And that room was connected to another room. And so we had two rooms. Uh, and one of them was for PCs, and we had Smash 2. The other one was just Smash. So Mr. Weiss, he was a great option for us, and I think that his love of video games also helped um, create the club that we wanted. It started to come together, you know, we had the equipment, we had dates set, we had a teacher to supervise, and we had a, an amazing, like, room. It was awesome. I think it was all executed properly. Uh, Advertising-wise, it was um, basically, I think Jake's dad made a logo as well as a flyer, and that was the number one way to advertise. Um, I joined it during my sophomore year. It was pretty much like I was just walking around, I saw one of the posters, and then they announced it, so I was just like, I play Smash, why not? The club preparations were complete, and VJ Smash was now ready for its opening day. Right. 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 Right.
that's what he still gets for choosing Mango Candy. I got flying in the door. First day, there were actually 55 people that came. Definitely my favorite day of the club. Um, we went over all the rules and um, everything to expect and everyone was really excited. It was the first time I actually saw a big community of people that I knew all liked Smash. Yeah, it was big. There was like more than, what, 70 people there. That was a real good start. Really convenient for me because I was just getting into the competitive scene and like now all of a sudden there's a club at school for it. So it was really convenient. And uh, it was just cool because like, I found there's a place I can come to school and like I can just uh, practice Smash, you know, I can get better. I've loved games basically my whole life. So I've been wanting a gamer club to be here for a while. So I'm glad we finally have one of our own. I think it went well because we ran it efficiently. We go there, talk about like what was going on in the club, like local like tournaments that are coming up, or uh, and then you play Smash with people. It's cool. And we just uh, a chill spot to play games. Ah!